In this session of the FX training, we'll be talking about the internet filing with FX. Rather than printing, you can internet file information slips such as T4s and T5s. In order for you to do so, keep in mind that you will need each individual client's account number and web access code. Now here are the steps to internet filing. You want to start out by entering your transmitter information by going to the e-file menu, then select options and click transmitter. Then enter your contact information in that window. And in the transmitter number field, you can enter this generic code MM000000 or if you have a transmitter number available, then you can use that number. Just as a special note here, the MM number is needed not for CRA information purposes, but to build a valid XML file that's required for transmission purposes. Next step that you need to take is with the FX tax return open in profile, go to the information form and click yes to the question, are you magnetic media or internet filing slips? Profile will not display the option to internet file slips unless this option is set to yes. Next, you wanna to go to the file menu and select properties. When you're in that window, look for slip status and under the e-filing column, make sure ready to file is set for the slips to be internet filed. In this example, you have T4 and T5 and you've selected the drop down for ready to file for each one. Now you're ready to go to the e-file menu and choose transmit slips or a T5013 return. Now you can select the slip that is set to ready to file and then click OK. Once you see that the XML build is done, you can press OK to confirm that build. Then Profile will automatically open the CRA transmission window. Scroll to the bottom of the window and click I agree. Next, you can enter the client's account number and their web access code and then click Next. Once the file has been submitted, you can click on the print icon to print the confirmation and then once that's done, you can choose close. If you ever amend a slip and you need to file that amended slip, uh, make the necessary changes first on the slip. The steps are similar to those just described in the prior slides, but for two exceptions. Departures are illustrated below. Under file properties, make sure to change the slip status from e-file to ready to file and change the data type from original to amended.